Previously on Kai Green Overkill. This whole game is about being, being a champion of mine. You can't be worried about your wife, your girlfriend, you can't be worried about your bills. You know, you got to focus you know, on the enemy and attack and destroy and well, this is the goal that we have and this is what we have to do. There's violence in there, there's rage in there. Is it violent? Is, it, is there rage? I'm saying I believe there has to be. I might be a nasty motherfucker. Want to beef up? Get Carnivore, the world's first all beef protein isolate. Developed to help Kai Green win the Arnold Classic, Carnivore delivers the muscle-building power of real beef to help you pack on slabs of muscle. During his prep for the 2009 Arnold, Kai was eating six to nine pounds of beef a day and making great gains, but the high consumption of meat was causing stomach distress and elevating his fat and cholesterol levels. This prompted muscle meds to develop Carnivore, the world's first all-beef protein isolate, which proved to be a key factor in enabling Kai to pack on even more muscle and capture the Arnold Classic crown. 350% more concentrated than steak, 20 times. The creatine of beef added branched chain amino acids for increased anabolic effect, ANRT, to recycle aminos and to minimize ammonia. Available in two delicious flavors. Beef up your physique with Muscle Med Carnivore, the most sought after anabolic protein ever created. Bodybuilding.com carries Carnivore and a full line of Muscle Med supplements at the Bodybuilding.com store. Kai and Oscar have been training in Vegas for nearly four weeks when I meet them for a second time. The lush growth of the Midwestern summer rolling beneath me slowly gives way to scrub brush and miles of arid western desert. The cab ride to the hotel that Kai and Oscar are staying in quickly passes by the familiar sights of the strip and enters a somewhat barren and desolate industrial park. The hotel, though clean and modern, is a far cry from the luxury hotels, which can be seen off in the distance. There is no restaurant, no casino. Before heading with them to the gym for our first video session, I meet with the Mr. Olympia contender and his trainer in their room. Rather than interrupt them with an invasive interview, I decide to hang back, observe, and get into the rhythm of their lives. I am immediately struck by the somber atmosphere. What causes God to get up off the throne, so to speak, and come to where we are is when we start giving him praise, when we go around in faith, expecting his faith. And know this, you know... Oscar made a meal for us. While we eat, not a word is spoken by anyone. Instead, we listen to an internet preacher and watch a motivational video. The moment that you decide, decision changes everything. Oscar had done his homework and had brought with him a library of positive reinforcement. These CDs and DVDs would form the soundtrack of my entire time here with him. It's trying to keep you down. With a small adjustment in your attitude, it'll be the very cloud God uses to shower his blessings and faith. When we feel this heaviness, especially in this curve, he's trying to follow us around. All the forms that man fashions with his hands must first exist in his thought. He cannot shape a thing until he has thought that thing. When we realize this, we lose all doubt and fear, for we know that we can create what we want to create, and we can get what we want to have and can become what we want to be. Watching Kai, it seems like he's in a constant state of meditation. In one of the most decadent places in the world, Kai Green is living a life of self-denial. Amidst the indulgences of the flesh, Kai and Oscar have carved out an oasis of discipline. On our way to Gold's Gym, we drive by the strip. We are like a bubble of purity, passing through a corrupt artery. Fix every word upon your memory, Meditate upon them until you firmly believe. Collect your thoughts, clear your mind. Yeah. Go, lightweight. Still a warm up. Let's go. On three. My count. 
One, two, three, oh. go. As we get into the workout, I can see that Kai is still training intensely at this point. Three, four, five. And Oscar is still working along with him, matching him set for set, if not weight for weight. Three, good, four, good power. Let's go. Remember what I said in locking room. Never forget that. So that's your thoughts to your mind. I mean, 100%. I'll give you a lift off. I can't believe. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, four, five. One more. All you. All I need from you is four fallout reps. I need, I need you to feel rested rejuvenated and powerful enough to knock out four with no problem. He reached out. I need, I need your muscles to feel this weight, to feel this assistance. This is 500 pounds, dude. Two reps. Then we're gonna slip it to four, then to three, then to two. But all you focus right now is mastering just two reps, allowing those two reps to build, maintain the thick muscle that you have. I would never ask you to do anything like I told you before that you're not capable of. It doesn't matter how you're being. In your mind, I know you can do this. I need you to awaken that part of yourself. Bring that out right now and give me everything you got. Leave nothing fucking behind. You hear me? 100% effort. Let's go! Let's go! settling thought begins to occur to me. Throughout our evening together, I begin to get the feeling that Kai and Oscar don't really want me here. Despite their initial enthusiasm to have me on the project, it seems now like my cameras are unwelcome intruders, threatening to disrupt their concentration. At this level of competition, I know that the slightest thing can have major consequences. I do my best to be as inconspicuous as possible. I ask no questions and try to blend into the background. And then it happens. During a routine warm-up set, Oscar suddenly falters and nearly drops the weight. He has pulled or torn something. 